this whole thing is is like it's like it's becoming like a nightmare for everybody you know it's just it's just this not knowing part and the fact that the women are so disliked by these men is beyond belief i don't i don't understand it why The situation for women in Afghanistan has not been good. Uh, the girls cannot go to school. The women cannot go to work. Universities are closed. Banks are closed. People can't get can't get to you know to the to to work and 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 bring. They don't get paid. The ones that they have been working for the government offices. So all of these things is just bringing the whole thing to a standstill. And and that is and that is really bad. For the first time when the Taliban came, they did not say that schools are going to be closed for girls. They didn't. Their excuses were exactly the same excuse as now. Wait, we will fix it for you. And the women of Afghanistan waited six years and it never got fixed. So you see, there is no trust with the women of Afghanistan, amongst the women of Afghanistan now, that this, these, these promises are going to take shape because, because it didn't before. Not knowing what the future will bring, not knowing what is going to be happening to them, not knowing whether they're going to be able to, to, to continue, not knowing, not knowing anything you know, whatsoever about, about their lives, about the lives of their children. I mean, this whole this whole thing is is like it's like it's becoming like a nightmare for everybody. You know, it's just it's just this not knowing part, and the fact that the women are so disliked by these men is beyond belief. I don't I don't understand it why. <laughs>